Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover the count function in Power Apps. As per Microsoft documentation, there are four different functions for count. One is count, count a, count if, and count true. So we will see what is the different use cases for each of these functions. I will directly jump into my Power Apps. So before I start with this uh, demo, let me tell you, first of all, I will be using this list called database for counting uh, the records. And this list has around 32,000 records. For that, let me show you first. If I go to site contents. And here you could see there are around 36,634 records. So we will also see the delegation functionality for the count function. Now what I have done over here for you, I have included the basic definition of all the four different functions. We will go through the definition and then we will do the hands on for each function. And by the end of this video, it should be very clear to us what are the different use cases for each of these functions. So let's start with the count function. So as per this definition, the count function will only work with the table which has a number column. For example, if you have a table with three columns and all the three columns are of different data types other than number, for example, all the three are string or text, then this count function will not work. But in case if your table has only one column, let's say ID and it is of integer type, this will work. But if your table has three columns, one is integer, two and text, then also this will work and how we will see. So let's get started now. If you see uh, in this database, I mostly have text column. These are few integer columns or single text of text column. I'm not sure that I have to uh, see in the list settings, but I'm very much sure this ID column is an integer column. So I we will work with this ID column. So let's start. Now what I will do in this count function, let me type the code. For what we will do to see the count, we will store it in a variable called we are count okay and here we will write the count function count and here i will uh, do the count what is my sharepoint list name database i have already included that in my uh, power apps i will directly use it over here say database this is done next is folks if i leave it as it is you could see i'm getting an error and if I hover over it, the first argument of count should be a one column table as uh, you know highlighted by the definition. So for the one column table, what I will do, I will use this dot operator because we have a multi column table and I will use ID. And you could see the error got disappeared. Now I have a label over here and I will use that variable name VR count over here to display the value this is showing me 500 because i already i have another it's a global variable and i'm using the same variable over here but uh, the moment i will click on it it should get refresh and i'll click on it so now i got the count as 500 i'll close it i'll go to this if i double click on it and the result is 500 so what it is doing it is saying that there are five, 500 records, but at the beginning we saw there are around 36,000 records. And why we are getting this 500 count? Because this is a non delegable function. So, what it is doing, it only is know about the first 500 records which are present in this SharePoint list. So, first of all, it is a non delegable function. It only works with the number column and a single column table. If there are multiple column you could use this dot uh, operator and it should work now before i uh, go in depth let's see uh, whether this will work with the text for example let me take this state code database dot state code and then we will come to the delegable thing and you could see uh, everything is small let's see if it is because of the type case now if you'd see again invalid schema except a column of number so this is now it is clear that this will only work with the number column. This is the non-delegable function. Okay. So before I proceed further, let me tell you all of these are non-delegable function. They will not 
uh, work with more than 500 records or whatever the limit is set in your uh, app. How we can overcome this delegation issue that we will see, I, there is only one way uh, that I will tell you at the end of this video. But before that, before I proceed further, let me show you the delegation limit present over here. So in my case, data row limit is 500. That's where it is showing me 500 rows. Let me change this count. Uh, I'll change this count to 5. Now 5 is the delegation limit. I'll go and refresh my uh, list called database refresh. Okay, now I will again click on this count and this will now give me the value as 5. See. If I change it to 2000, it will uh, give me 2000, but we cannot go more than 2000. Okay, now let me again change my delegation limit to 500 and we will go ahead and check other functions. Now, let's see the second function, what count A definition is. The count A functions count the number of records that are in blank in a single column table. Now, it also works with a single column table and, but there are two differences. now. It works with the column of any type. It uh, there is no limitation, but it will not count the blank records. For example, there is a row. Oh, sorry, there is a column ID. There are ten records, but two of them are blank, so it will only give eight. On the other hand, count function will give me ten. This is also non-delegable, mind you. So now I'll go ahead again. I'll quickly uh, take the existing code, okay, and I'll go over here. I'll paste this. I'll say we are count and over here I will use this function called count a and this time I will use another one uh, which we tried earlier which is the state code column because again this is a single column uh, it works with a single column table so state code now this is working let me try again but before that I will set the value and I have to change the value over here also. We are count A. Take this. I'll set it to this label just to see the result. And I will click on it. This will give me 500 as usual because in my list, again, there are around 36,000 records. But since the delegable delegation limit is 500, it is giving me result as 500. Again, the difference is it will work with column of any time, single column table, it will not count the blank records. Now let's come to this count if function because we are not able to apply filter over here. Let's see what is the difference. The count if function count the number of records in a table that are true for a logical formula. So that means it will take two arguments. These two take single argument. They, it takes two arguments and it works with a table, not a single column table, but a table with multiple columns. So let's quickly again copy this formula. Countif, paste it over here, change the variable name to countif, change the formula to countif, and let's see now. Okay, this is because the caps lock was on in my machine. Okay, county, no, now it should work. Whether it will work with the database or not, let's see. Okay, now it needs two arguments. So we know by the definition that it will accept the second argument, and in the second argument, it will take the condition. Now, what is the condition? We will say county is equal to clay county. County is equal to clay county. Let's see what is the error. I think we are missing one. Parenthesis, this is done and now this is the delegable warning. And another important point to note down is we are not getting any delegation warning over here like this uh, warning triangle, but both are non-delegable functions. So you can note it down. In fact, all of them are non-delegable, although we are not getting the warning over here. So now let's see what uh, result we will get from here. I'll copy this. We are count if I'll put it over here and I'll go and play. And I'm getting 144 records. And if you go over here, I will put a filter, filter by, and I'll say Clay County. How many records we are getting? We are getting 363 records. So let's see why so. You can see over here there are 363 records, and my 
counting function is giving one double for records. Now this is surprising why? Again because of delegation issue. Now uh, I should not say it's an issue. It's a limitation because of delegation limitation. Why? Because this function only knows about the first 500 records and in the first 500 records there are only 144 records where value is equal to click out day. Now to uh, prove it to you what I will do first of all I will change the delegation what I will make it to 5 okay first let's see uh, I will remove this filter now you see 1 2 3 4 5 in the first 5 records there are all the 5 records are play county I just wanted to see okay we will work with the first 40 records okay in the first 40 records we could see 34 are play county okay let's set the delegation warning as 40 i'll go over here settings and i will set the delegation warning as 40 or in fact uh, i'll set it as 40 now i'll close it i'll refresh the database refresh and i will again click on it now it will go to the first 40 records and it found 34 are play count for I will update the formula over here. Let's see, there is no typo. S U W A W N W E. Okay, fine. Now, what count we should get? See, delegation warning set to 40. So, uh, our formula knows only the first 40 records. In the first 40 records, how many is when? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we should get the result as 6. And if you see, there are not many records which are present. I'll click over here. See. Again, it proves all these are non delegable functions. So, before I move into the last function, count rows, I will give you a quick review. All of them are non delegable function. Count will work with a single column table only with number field. This will work with a single column table work with work with column of any data type. But what it will do, it will not count the blank records. Count if uh, it's a, it will take two parameters. Second, we can pass a condition. Where to? We can use to filter down the records over here. Uh, as we saw, we passed based on the uh, county name. And count rows. What count rows will do? Let's see. The count row function counts the number of records in a table. What we can do? Simply, uh, I'll go over here. Again, I'll take. It will work with the entire table. It will count the number of records present in a table i'll remove everything from here for example see and i'll remove i think this is fine and i'll type count rows count rows this looks good count rows okay again this will give me a delegation warning fine and over here i will pass the variable name count rows we are count rows and now if i click on it i will get the result as 40 because right now my delegation warning is 40 see if i set it to 500 i will get 500 so this is how the basic difference it works with the entire table so this is how uh, you can work with the count row function but for example you wanted to uh, filter down this database so what you can do you can use this filter function you can use this filter function over here this is the database and in the filter function now if i say county okay is equal to play county and let's see what we will get okay again this is a non delegable function i'll click on it and you could see 40 because my delegable limit is 40 so i use this filter function just to showcase you if you want to trim down the result you can use it so guys now we reached the end of this video and as i said now what what is the solution to come over this delegation limitation so what you can do in case uh, the case which we have right now if you want to count the number of records and we know it will go beyond the delegation limit you could use your power automate call power automate on click of this button power automate behind the scene will run and it will count the number of records present in a table it will pass the result back to the power apps and you can use that count that is the only way i know 
If you are aware of any other idea or method, please do let me know in comments. It will be very helpful to our community. So guys, I hope uh, you like this video. If you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. Till our next video, much love, keep learning. Thank you.